In this video, let's see another subtopic based on the concept of transpose of a matrix. We already know what is transpose of a matrix and how to compute the transpose of any given matrix. In this video, we are going to study the first property or the theorem based on the transpose of a matrix. And let's see what the property is with the help of a numerical illustration. Right? So now the first property says for any matrix A, if you have been given any matrix and the matrix name is A, the transpose you compute that is A transpose. First you are going to compute the transpose which is A transpose and then again whatever result you obtain, you compute the transpose again. If you compute transpose two times in this manner, actually you are going to get the same matrix that you had talked about earlier. That means A transpose transpose is equal to A. Now if still not understood, we are ready with the numerical illustration to get started. Let me write an example. Suppose I have a matrix A given to me and that matrix is simply A, B, C, D, E, F. As you can see, this matrix has what order? It has two rows and three columns. So it is a two by three matrix. Now we are basically going to prove this. A transpose transpose is equal to A. So first of all, let me take LHS. What is LHS? It is A transpose transpose, right? LHS is A transpose transpose. For A transpose transpose, we need to first compute this thing which is called as A transpose. Let's compute it. What is A transpose? It is basically the transpose of A. Where is A? It is here. It is a 2 by 3 matrix. The transpose as we started in the previous video, it will be what? It will be a 3 by 2 matrix because you interchange the rows with columns and columns with rows. So it is a 3 by 2 matrix. That means we will be having now 3 rows and 2 columns, right? So three rows and two columns. First row will become the first column. So ABC was the first row. It becomes the first column. And similarly, the second row will become the second column. So it is DEF. But this is the result of what? This is the result of A transpose. And we were supposed to find out A transpose and then again the transpose. Let's find the transpose again. Right? So it is A transpose. Now I have to compute in the next step A transpose transpose. The A transpose that is written in the bracket is actually this matrix. And its transpose will be what? Let's see. So that means transpose of this matrix. If this is a 3 by 2 matrix, the transpose will be a 2 by 3 matrix. Right? So it will be basically 2 by 3 matrix with 2 rows and 3 columns. And what we are supposed to do, the first row becomes the first column. So AD is the first row, now it becomes your first column. The second row, BE, becomes the second column. You can see here, it is BE here and it becomes your second column. Let me make it stretch. So it is a 2 by 3 matrix, 2 by 3 matrix with 2 rows and 3 columns. I was saying that the second row, BE, becomes the second column. And the third final last row which is CF becomes your last column. So CF becomes your last column. Now this matrix that you got A, B, C, D, E, F row wise is what? It is A, B, C, D, E, F row wise. It is same as the matrix there written over there. And what was that matrix named as? It was matrix A. So even this matrix is actually what? It is A. So now see, you started from where? You started from here, A transpose and then you got A transpose transpose. And this value of A transpose transpose has come out to be equal to A. That means A transpose transpose is equal to A. So this is a very important property, the property based on transpose. It is the first property which says that if you have a matrix, any given matrix of any given order, you take transpose of that matrix two times, you get the same matrix all over again.